A lot of you guys are falling victim to manipulation and you're not even realizing it. You know those typical things that girls do to make you feel a certain way. A lot of those are manipulation. Now, before I get into this video, I want to add a quick disclaimer. Guys, most of the time, they're not doing this on purpose and it's just something that comes naturally. It's an automatic response built into them from the moment they were very young. Keep in mind though, just because it's usually not a bad thing, sometimes it can have nefarious intentions. This is why I always try to teach you guys about discernment. You guys have to be able to pick up on when it's conscious and when it's not. The response you give is generally similar with a more hardcore response to the conscious one. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to become immune to manipulation. It's very important since this is fundamental to how women communicate. While you're watching this video, I want you to keep an open mind. Some of these ideas may seem a bit taboo. With that being said, let's get into the first topic, which is demanding your time. All of you guys have experienced this at one point or another. When you deal with girls, it's natural for them to start to feel entitled to your time. This passively becomes an expectation after you start doing routine things with them. An example would be if you always hang out with her on Wednesday at five o'clock, she's going to start getting used to that. Eventually, it's not going to turn into you spending time with her. It's going to turn into you needing to spend time with her. You have to be aware of this and remember to put a boundary on this. Usually, it'll come up when she gets mad at you for not being able to hang out. Another example of this is if you constantly send good morning or good night texts. If you get her used to sending those texts and she gets mad when you don't, now you're in a problem. She might try to manipulate you into feeling bad for not doing this. But understand guys, a relationship is elective not mandatory. You need to be able to check her when she does this. If you play into it, she will then understand that she can get more from you. Like I already told you guys, they don't always do this with a bad intention. It's just all they know. In these scenarios, you have to make sure you're strict because then they'll learn to respect your time. If they respect your time, it means they respect you. Remember guys, respect is mandatory for her to be attracted to you. If you continue to fall victim to this and allow it, your relationship will suffer. Let's get into the second topic, which is when she cries or acts emotionally to get what she wants. Understand guys, you can't let a girl leverage her tears to get something from you. What I mean is you can't get her used to the idea that if she cries, she'll get what she wants from you. A lot of guys become suckers for tears because they feel bad when they see a girl in that state. Guys, you have to understand that girls will cry for so many different reasons. A lot of times they cry just because they're having a bad day. Crying for women is really not that big of a deal. Now also keep in mind that sometimes their tears are warranted. If you go over the top and you're extremely rude and they cry, well now you've created those tears. I'm talking about the situations where she cries for unjustified reasons. In these scenarios, you don't have to be rude, but you do have to stand your ground. I always tell you guys, don't allow yourself to be an emotional tampon. It's okay to be there for a girl when she's crying because she wants to be supported. However, it is not okay if she's directing those emotions towards you when you did nothing. No matter how bad her tears are, if you didn't do anything wrong and she's directing her negative emotions towards you, you have to shut it down. It's not your job to take abuse. It's your job to be supportive. A lot of girls are going to try to gaslight you into thinking that's the same thing. It's not. Remember, it can become a slippery slope. If you get them used to the idea that they can abuse you and get away with it, they're going to continue to do so. As part of setting healthy boundaries in a relationship, you want to make sure you stand your ground on this and don't allow her to continue doing this. The last, the most complex topic I want to discuss is gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse where one person causes another person to question their sanity, memories, or perception of reality. I'm not a huge fan of the term psychological abuse. I would consider it abuse if you're not equipped to handle it. A lot of people, namely girls, tend to gaslight when their ego gets in the way. Gaslighting can take on many forms. I'll give you guys a couple common examples of what gaslighting looks like. Let's say you have a girlfriend and during the course of the relationship, she starts going out more often. During these outings, she's now also drinking as well. When you go to tell her about the problem because you care about her and her instant response is that it's not a problem, this is a form of gaslighting. She's trying to convince you that what she's doing isn't a problem so that you'll accept it and she can continue doing it. Another really common example that you guys have all heard by now is when you express your feelings towards her going out. You try to tell her that you don't like her going out for a number of reasons. Her safety could be in jeopardy. There's going to be peer pressure to drink, which is an unhealthy habit. She could end up in a compromised position, which could make her and you look bad. If her response is one of these common phrases, you're controlling, you're insecure, you're misogynistic. These are all the purest form of gaslighting. Instead of accepting that you're trying to protect her, she's trying to manipulate you into believing that what you're doing is negative. Guys, this form of gaslighting has become so mainstream that it's not even seen as a bad thing anymore. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys understand what it is textbook was. When you understand exactly what it is, it's going to be much easier for you to defend against this. Remember guys, just because everyone's doing it doesn't mean it's the right thing. This is the definition of bandwagon fallacy. Let everybody else jump off the bridge if they want to. For those of you watching my channel, I won't let you guys be the ones to do so. That wraps up this video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also as usual, don't forget to check out the extended version of my Patreon for those of you who want to go the extra mile. Comment below for more video ideas you'd like to see from me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.